All right, well, hello. Um, yeah, this is my channel. This is stupid right now, but um, I don't care. I'm making a video. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to do the seafoam spray. I'm about to put it in my thing, in my engine, and actually watch how much it cleans it, because this is what you hear it sounds like right now. Okay, a little bit of knocking. I took this off on purpose. So, whenever I get to it, I'll return with the other video. Alright, well, I'm returning. This is, I'm about to do some more, I'm about to do some seafoam into my intake. So where it clears out all my injectors and everything and so forth. And this is my buddy Marcus. He's helping me about to do my shit. I'm ugly as shit, so yeah. Oh. But yeah, we already got this on there, so all we gotta do is spray it. We go and sit in the car. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm about to try to do this with one hand. But this is an Infinity I-30. It's a 1999, and I bought this for $1,200. For somebody, it's my first car. Let me put you down real quick. All right, I have it. I shook up the can. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. 100%. I'm gonna let my car is all warm. It's supposed to have, you're supposed to start it at half warm. So I'm about to, uh, right now. I don't know. It's smoking. It just popped off on me. It's just stupid. I'm about to just do it this way. It popped off on me again. Are you ready? But so you're supposed to empty out the whole bottle inside. I'm probably going to time lapse this and cut some pieces out. Doesn't say 100% that you're supposed to keep it at high idle or higher um, revving it higher than said original, but um, I'm doing it anyway. And this is spraying inside of there, which should be clearing all that out. Unless it pinched it, then we ain't doing nothing. But I can feel the can getting lighter. But. But then once we're done with this, it's supposed to let it sit for five minutes once the can is out. Then once you're out of the can, let it sit for five minutes, five to ten anyway. And then you start it back up. I don't know how much smoke it's doing. Or if it is. I don't know if it's smoking or not, but... Popped off again, because of me. Let me get down on one knee. <laughs> so I'm spraying the whole can of seafoam to my Infinity I-30. Then you gotta let it heat soak for five minutes. And then, so that's what I'm going to do. You heard the noise it was making before. Fans rather. Blum, keeping me warm with some hot air. Okay, and it's still going. Pretty sure it is.
And I actually just put a new filter in there, air filter. You can't see it, it's pink. Well, the outer rib is pink. But... Hold on. I also have a 67, 1967 Pontiac Tempest. I will be doing this too in a later video. And probably about next week or maybe in a couple days, I'm probably going to get the bottle of seafoam that's not a spray. doing the sea foam that's not a spray and what you do is you pour it you can pour it into your oil and your um gas tank and then what it does with the gas tank it has all these uh detergents and chemicals or whatever have you you want to call it don't know the uh, scientific name for it but they it can uh not de-ice but it will winterize your fuel lines and everything and all that good stuff clean out your um, oil filter no, your fuel filter you should always clean that out every so and now by like getting a new one you see it's looking dirty or it's been like 20 years and then with the oil and then uh, you, if you put it in the engine you're supposed to do it like each quart you're supposed to do like a uh, ounces so however many quarts your engine is you put that many ounces in it I would do it whenever it's running low right before you do an oil change and whenever you do your oil change you should see it but what that would do is it um, probably fix my little ticks that you have that I have back there that you can probably hear He revved it up so it wasn't the bottle doing that. Shirt's coming up, it's pretty chilly out. Only wearing a t-shirt. It's just empty at the whole bottle. And let it heat soak for five minutes. But yeah, well, as I was saying, Bob is doing and putting it in the oil. It will clean off your rockers and everything, make sure they're all getting lubed and get off all the carbon deposits that is built up in it. And then, because you don't want the carbon deposits, because the carbon deposits are not good, obviously, when I said you don't want it. But anyway, yeah, I'm thinking I need some more power steering fluid. I think that's right there. Not 100% sure. Nope, that is right there. My bad, I'm fucking retarded. That's power steering. Clean filler cap before removing. I need some more. Switch in. But yeah, anyway, that's what you do. And then uh, you change the oil, put a new oil filter on there. Mine would be probably 5W30 with uh, fully synthetic because it's a newer version of the car. I'm guessing it's a 99, so it's kind of new. But yeah, other than that. Alright, well, the bottle's empty. There's just a little bit of spray, so it's empty. Uh, we'll cut the car off, let it sit for five minutes. And then, for five, ten minutes, and we'll restart the video. Bye. Okay, it's been about ten minutes. Not exactly ten minutes yet, but... Yeah, I know vaping's dumb, but... Actually, it's not that bad. But I don't vape. But, alright. 
Everything's still sitting down under there. I'm gonna go out there. But this car is 1999 Infinity i30. I got it from somebody for $1,200, like I said in a previous video. And um, I don't know how much it's gonna smoke. I did the Carfax and it said that it was, oil was changed every so thousand miles that it was required. And everything, I haven't really had no problems with it. But I'm gonna start it, see if it smokes. So I don't know how much it will smoke. All right, let me, I don't really see nothing yet, but I'm about to jump out. Yeah, car needs to normally be warm. It looks a little cooler. I'm pretty sure it's not. It doesn't really look like it's smoking. I don't know if it got louder or not, but the noise is still there. I think it's smoking at all, so. It's actually not really doing that much. So I'm guessing it was fairly clean on the inside. I don't know. Let's go take it for a drive. Because, why not? I think it's that, that side's broken, that's why the whole... I ain't really fucking smoking. Sorry for my language. I might have to bleep that out. Viewer discretion is advised. But I did the whole thing sea foam. It didn't really do too much. So I'm guessing it might be clean, like I just said. take too well on the acceleration there's a car coming to the left of me don't want to have a video crash no crash on video you know how crazy that'd be millions of views bad bargains <laughs> I don't really see smoke coming out the back. 